All right, y'all, you already know. So, Tur- Turkey Alashik, who has been the, uh, I mean, he, he got money to billionaire pr- princes and, and kings out in Saudi Arabia. Well, he just made another big move, and that is he bought Ring Magazine. Now, Ring Magazine was the Bible of boxing. Now, how long, let me see how long Ring Magazine, I mean, they've got, they've been around at least 70, 80 years. Yep. Ring Magazine was founded in 1922 by Nat. And you got to think, so they've been around since Jack Dempsey was champion. Joe Lewis was champion. Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robertson, Roberto Durant, so on and so forth, right? Historical. But Golden Boy bought them a while ago. And it seemed like Ring Magazine had just became a joke, honestly. And they also do have their own belt. I don't know if it's a real, it's never, it wasn't a real belt, but it, it, it is. I don't know. But Turkey Al Sheik just finally said that he's, he's, um, purchased the company and vowed to make changes to it. Now, look, let me be honest about it. I don't care who owns it as long as you do right by it. One thing that does intrigue me is this whole Ring Magazine belt now. Are they going to somehow make that an actual sanctioned belt to where you're the Ring Magazine champion? And you could defend your title because before they would just kind of honor it, you know, especially say if it's like undisputed Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford, they just throw ring magazine in there. But will they have their own rankings and referees and sanctioning fees? It's possible because now that he owns it, he has a portion of the belts. But then that makes it even more confusing because now you got to collect five belts instead of four belts. There's too many damn belts out there. Most of the casual fans have no idea who has what. And this is why boxing, one of the reasons why boxing has taken a uh, a dive, especially over the last several months. But Turkey Alashi, he's he's definitely tried to change boxing up. If you ever notice Al Heyman in the PBC, their fights are, are $89.99 to watch Tank fight Lamont Roach. However, Turkey Alashik, he has undisputed Bivol versus um, Benavidez. Bener, Bener Bidev, should I say? I'm getting tongue tied. Bener Bidev for undisputed for $20. Tyson Fury versus Alexander U- U- Usyk is going to be for probably $20, $30. Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngangu, which I thought, I mean, that was still purely entertainment. That was $40, and they came out with a video game, you know? And the Saudis, they already then bought up the PGA and. And um, they were throwing their money around in soccer and, you know, everybody's trying to get into live events. So, hey, if it helps boxing, cool, I'm with it, you know, but a lot of people are trying to sign over there. I believe Shakur Stevenson now has a deal over there. I know Devin Haney's going to want to get a deal. Ryan Garcia, you know, even though he's suspended for cheating, so on and so forth. So we'll have to see what Turkey al does. And also, what does this do with the PBC? Because w- what stars does the PBC have left? Terrence Crawford's not over there. I think he, I guess he had, what, a one-fight deal with the PBC? Earl Spence ain't fought in two years. Who's a st- Keith Thurman's disappeared. Danny Garcia, I mean, he good in real estate, but, it, I mean, is people going to really pay pay-per-view for that? No. The only person they got over there is Javante Tank Davis. That's it. That's it. Javante Tank Davis is the 50 cent of Interscope Records. If he don't drop, ain't nobody going to eat. And then you hear rumors that he hasn't got all his money either. So I don't know. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. You know, hey, as long as it helps boxing, I'm with it because we got to bring boxing back. And one more thing, Turkey. If you could please bring back Friday Night Light uh, fights, please bring those back. You know, we got to have... We got to start have boxing on more and more to where the casual fans can know who these fighters are because you ask somebody, the only person people know is Tank Davis, Devin Haney, and Ryan Garcia. That's it. Don't nobody know who Keyshawn Davidson is. Uh, all, all these different fighters. Don't nobody know Don't nobody know who Keith Thurman is like that. So we, we got to get more, these boxers, you know, we need to get more exposure to them. But, you know, hey, I'm all for it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.